This is what I want you to do. Write down the names of five of your best friends, excluding family and relatives. Write down the names of five of your best friends, excluding family and relatives. Done? Now I'll give you another five seconds. This is a mathematical test. Very complex. Done? Somebody has done very fast. So don't look at the uh, names of the person. Maybe your name won't be there. <laughs> you might be sitting with your best friend, but they don't think you're a friend. All right? Look at the list. Is there anyone who is from your home country? It's the same country as you are from. Okay, very excellent. Strike off those names. Is there anyone who belongs to the same race or ethnicity? Is there? Okay, yeah. Strike off those names. Is there, on the list, is there anyone who is of the same gender? Strike off those names. Is there anyone from the same religion you follow? Strike off those names. Now, the number you got, you need to multiply that with 20. And the number you get is what I call your DQ, your diversity quotient. Yeah? So if you want to do another way, some people say it's not fair to say five friends. You can write 100 friends and start doing the same thing. The result is the same. Look around the room. There are a lot of people who are different from us. Diversity is your reality. I live in Singapore. And who has been to Singapore? Some people have not. Nobody is perfect. <laughs> it's a very small country. If you were to draw a square, 25 square, 25 kilometers by 25 square, 25 kilometers times 25 kilometers, that's roughly the size of 15 miles times 15 miles. Very small place. 5.7 million people there. It's very crowded, more crowded than most cities you know. There are people from almost every country representing every culture, every religion, every background who work and live in Singapore. This is a social concern and this is also a political concern because too many people in too small place creates, makes it crowded, put a stretch on resources. And that's a, people complain about that. I see possibilities, I see opportunities because 100 years from now, this is exactly how our cities will look like. People from various countries, communities and cultures converging on cities to work together and live together. Whether you like it or not, diversity is your reality. Whether you want it or not, diversity is here to stay. It will not go away. Now, what I'm, what's the impact for us? Globally, you and me will be for, forced to work with people who are different from us. We need to learn to adapt to this. I'm not even saying that you should tolerate diversity. I'm not even saying that you should encourage diversity. I'm saying you should consciously embrace diversity. There's a guy by the name Richard Crisp. He's one of the world's leading social psychologists. As I wrote my book, I was referred to him. And he says this, embracing diversity in your social world has two aspects. One, it awakens our creative potential. Two, it maximizes our creative potential. And I can relate to that. Whenever I do something, I put it up in front of people from different backgrounds. And you're amazed by the number of advices and perspectives we get. 
and then people come to me and say I'm creative I said I'm not creative I'm diverse I'm trying to get input from different people simple thing last week I lost my voice and I put a post on Facebook saying what should I do and I got inputs from different people now I can do a two-hour keynote on how to manage your voice amazing it's something I never thought about yeah so think about that how we can do that so people ask you how what what should we do how what how what should I do to improve my diversity quotient reach out to people who are different from us you see if you notice we are part of an organization which is one of the most diverse in the history of mankind and this gives us a lot of opportunities and somebody came to me uh, last time I said so what should I do do I go to someone and say hey you look different from me can I be your friend <laughs> I said it's far easier than that it's far easier than that be authentic be open be human be nice people will flock to you